Hello and welcome to the Beard Tools, I'm the Beard Electron and this is my uh, updated TechIt uh, tutorial class. Now this is part 2, uh, part 1 you can uh, click a link in the le top left hand corner and go and check that out. That's how to produce oxygen and survive like oxygen on the moon, how the trees work and how the leaves work etc. I'll explain it all, so go and check that out please. Uh, this uh, episode I will concentrate on airlocks now. Here is uh, airlocks here, you can see that's a building, that'll be part 3 which I'll be going into. Now, airlocks. Now these are extremely useful if you want to build a base and go in and out very quickly. Now to build such airlock, you'll need 3 meteoric, uh, meteoric iron, 2 lead ingots, 2 oxygen concentrators, which I showed you before I to make, but here we go again. It's invar ingots, invar is 2 iron dust, 1 ferrous metal dust. And you combine them in a craft table to make one invar dust, and then you smelt them out. One tin canister. Tin canister is literally um, seven tin ingots in that in a U shape, and that gets you. And the oxygen vent is literally three tin ingots, one lead in it. So, uh, but the thing is, once you had all this, and and you get that, you get an airlock frame. But the meteorite iron is one of the most hardest things to get. Now, the things you'll need is literally this, this, and this. Now, to get meteorite, you need a meteorite. Now uh, the there you go. There's one. You need to walk all over the moon to find these. And the thing is, you need to break them apart with a diamond pickaxe. Now this is gonna kill me, but oh well. So you, you sit here, you go up to it, and you start breaking it apart with diamond pickaxe. I I tried an iron one, didn't work. So once you do that, you go, you, you break it apart, and you get your uh, self a meteoric raw meteor iron, which you shove in a furnace. You will. And you'll get this, this meteoric iron ingot. But the thing is, you need three of them, so you need to find three meteorites to even get near, which is rather annoying. Now, I'm going to take the rest of these. The thing, once you've done that, you get two of these. But the thing is, uh, the smallest you can make is literally is four by three. You can. Four by three is the smallest you can make to actually fit through. You can actually walk through that. That is the smallest you can make. So for this one, I'm doing a 4x4. Four four, uh, no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. So you think you'll need 12 to complete the other side. So you're also going to need a uh, lever, redstone torch, redstone repeater, so redstone, to finish this off. Because I'm going to show you how to make a two way airlock, I will. So let's just finish this off. And this side, let's just take this out. Boom, 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 boom. So the thing is, once you have these, the smallest you can make is, if I just show you quickly, is literally that, and then just use this. Oh, come on. These things are so glitchy at times. Sometimes you go, yeah, I want to work. And you go, no, I don't want to work. There you go. That is the smallest airlock you can make that you can actually walk through. Let's go for that. The one I'm going to do is actually four by four. So a two way entrance, a four block entrance. So technically, there's your entrance. Let's just uh, build this off. Now you would have this completely contained. You would. You'd have this uh, with air in it. This would be completely contained. And then you'd have air coming into this. Now, uh, to do this, the thing is, if you have air in this, if you open this, and this one's open, this one's closed, you come in, you close it, and you go, all right, that's good, I want to go back outside. You try and open it again, this will not close because there's oxygen in this area, it'll just go, it'll start going, do, 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 do. I can't close, I can't close, I can't close. So the way to get behind this, you have to create a little uh, redstone lever. So first of all, Put your, redst put your lever there, then you get a block behind it, you put a block there, and you put redstone on top, and you have redstone coming off, and then you have a redstone torch there, and then you have redstone coming off into that. And that should turn on. See, that one does, so, as I said before, these are really bloody glitchy. They are. Now, once I finish this, it should close. No? There we go. So there we go. You have your simple, this is your simple thing. So for example, this is the outside. This is your inside of the base. So your inside of the base go, oh, I want to go outside and see some stuff. So you come in here, 
you click this and it switches. So the inside's closed, it means all your options are still in there, and you're able to go outside and explore. And then the same thing when you come inside, you go boom, and you're able to come back in. Let me just show you that circuit again. So you have your two airlock frames, and you have your red, you have your lever here connected to a block, and behind that you have one block with redstone on top coming off to one. And on the other side of that, you have a redstone torch, and that's coming off into this, which activates this. So if I activate this quickly, by activating this, it will disable this redstone torch, means this turns off, and this one turns on. It's a really simple circuit, really quick and easy. It just means it saves a lot of space as well, and means you can get in and out of your base really, really quickly. Now, the, I thought, oh, I'll see how big this can get. So I know you can have 5x5. Five five. Now this is 6x6. Six six. This one works. You can have 7x7. Seven seven. This one works. You can have 8x8. Eight eight. That one works. You can have 9x9. Nine nine. That one works. Look at the size of these things. What would you need an airlock that big for? It's ridiculous. It's just like a spaceship shuttle coming in to land. And then we have 10x10. Ten I couldn't get this one to work. I rebuilt it twice. Really couldn't get it to work. So I think that might be the maximum size you can have is 10 by 10. So, but if you get bigger, please tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. So that is basically airlocks. They're very, very cool. They keep the oxygen in and it makes things a lot easier for getting in and out. So you just go boom, 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 boom. So yeah, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, keep tuned for part three, which I'll talk about oxygen sealers, which will make your base a lot more easier to get in and out with, and you don't have to worry about oxygen bubble distributors. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, keep calm, grow a beard, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, people. Bye-bye.